Hello my friends, this year has just started, but the art season is already in its full strength. So let's have a look what was happening in New York during its famous Armory Week. Oh yeah, I will also show you some stuff from the exhibition I personally participated in and give you my honest reviews of all of that. That's coming up! Guys, if you are interested in art, in contemporary art in particular, then you probably have heard or even had a chance to visit the Armory Show, the New York finest art fair and one of the special highlights of the international art calendar. This year was no exception and turned out to be a huge success following the fresh air changes introduced by the fair's new management. Let's take a look! Armory Show is traditionally located on two adjacent piers, 92 and 94, on the west side of Manhattan. This year they say to have changed its layout to make the art fair navigating experience easier and to avoid dead ends existed in the past. And though the size of the tent seemed huge and undoable from the first take, we still managed to briefly see it all. And there was something to see. I would not stop on naming the artworks that one expects to see in large supply at contemporary art fairs like, say, traditional abstracts or figurative paintings on stretched canvases. I would just say they were of excellent quality. I would better take your attention to the trendiest media. One of them is a textile and another is mixed reality. And one of the highlight of the fair was a huge levitating concrete block by a studio drift that took art and technology to the edge. Think of this kind of installations and overall augmented mixed reality potential that brings together the real and virtual worlds. Well guys, and just to summarize, Armory Show is huge. Maybe it's bigger than Art Basel in Miami that I've also been to. And uh, the quality of art here is just really good and each and every booth presents something new, something that I, well, many of us never seen before and something really eye-catching and uh, really interesting. So whenever you have an opportunity, please come. If you have an opportunity to exhibit here, my congratulations. Okay, moving forward to the satellite fairs during Armory Week. I had a chance to visit the opening night of the Volta New York. This is a sister fair to the renowned Art Basel group of events and thus presents a really sophisticated and intriguing set of art galleries and their represented artists. It is located on West Side Pier 90 and is a close neighbor to Armory. Though way smaller in scale, the degree of art presented is equally great. I especially liked a massive video art installation by Federico Solni in a booth covered with juicy red curtain. You had a chance to see it, the highlights in my Instagram. Other stars were the rugs by Faik Ahmed, presented by Sapar Contemporary Gallery. Again, rugs are really in trend. That's what we were talking about in one of my previous videos. Just don't forget to take a look.
This year I have also had an opportunity to visit Scope New York Art Fair and compare it to their Miami edition. Well, I guess after my December experience in Miami Beach, my expectation bar was raised high, probably too high, so that I found their New York edition to be a pale shadow of their main fair coinciding with Miami Art Basel. There were significantly fewer galleries in New York, and many of the artworks were already shown in Miami at various fairs. So, when there are so many events going simultaneously in a city like New York, in this hit or miss game, I would suggest that you could easily skip this fair if you already have quite a busy schedule. to tell you about my own experience of exhibiting in New York Art Fair. So here we go! I was invited to take part in Clio Art Fair, which main idea was to show the artworks of independent artists not currently represented by New York art galleries. This was an opportunity to show my art to local public and to do some networking alongside. I was lucky to see there my old artist friends and to meet new interesting people, galleries, artists and admirers. That's actually what the art fair is all about. And now to the pros and cons of this particular art fair, as I assume some of you may consider participating in future. Well, this fair is tiny. It is designed to be like a group gallery show. Organizers did a great job to attract crowds in the opening night and was really enjoyable to be there. Now to some cons for you to consider. As it is a gallery style show, you should expect the adequate flow of people during normal gallery days. Do not think of huge typical art fair crowds, maybe up to 100 to 100 people a day as maximum. The other major drawback is that fair is located on two floors of Chelsea building and they are even not adjacent, 5th and 9th. That eventually leads to the fact that not all people would make it up to the 9th floor. Organizers did a good job with placing art fair in reputable listings like Art Forum, ensured art media coverage. However, no special targeting for gallerists that may become interested in presented artists seemed to be made. As a result of that, sales were not impressive. To sum up, this is an interesting fair with a truly nice idea behind it, but with a huge room for improvement. I would advise fellow artists to participate in it only if all the drawbacks are eliminated. Well, guys, as you see, that was a busy week for me in New York. I didn't have any spare minute and haven't visited all the art fairs I really wanted to. For example, the Art Show by American Art Dealers Association, the oldest art fair in New York. We'll do it next time! I thank you for being with my channel tonight. I would appreciate your ideas on the topic. And please let me know if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more. Have a great day! Bye-bye!